Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Professor Asharu Zamar Khan from Government Muslim Science College, Hyderabad. Today we have the topic application of question rule. The question rule will be applied in solving the functions in the fraction form or the, the rational functions to evaluate the derivative of the rational functions we will apply the question rule how can we apply this let's see here we are with an example of a rational function uh, we have to determine the derivative of rational functions in in certain domain f of x is equal to x divided by x square plus 1 this is rational function so we will apply the quotient rule to evaluate the derivative of f of x So for uh, finding out the derivative of f of x, x is equal, uh, is equal to x over x square plus 1 is the rational function in the form of fractions. We have to find out the derivative of this. We will apply the quotient rule. We will put just the differential operator derivative of uh, the f of x with respect to x and the derivative of f of x that is x over x square plus 1. So we will apply the formula that is u upon v method uh, in common words we we uh, uh, speak about the u upon v method in which the derivative will be find out by we will take v same the derivative of u with respect to x minus u same the derivative of v with respect to x divided by v square so here the in the numerator the term in the numerator is called u and the term in the denominator is called v that is x square plus 1 and u is x so what will happen if we apply the formula we will take v same the derivative of u and we will take u same the derivative of v with respect to x the whole divided by v square in between these two there is a sign of subtraction so how can we do this let's see just for finding out the derivative of f of x what we will do v same means x square plus 1 will be the same the derivative of u u means x minus x same yani u same the derivative of x square plus 1 whole divided by v square means x square plus 1 over here what will happen in the next step we can find out the derivative of f of x as x square plus 1 will be the same the derivative of x is equal to 1 and then x is same and the derivative of x square is 2x and derivative of 1 as a constant term so it will be 0 so x square ka derivative 2x and x square plus 1 whole square will be the same uh, as v square so after that derivative of f of x Now after the simplification the derivative of f of x will be x square plus 1 is the same and x square will be multiplied by 2x that is 2x square minus 2x square. So x square minus 2x square becomes minus x square and 1 will be the same. So 1 minus x square divided by x square plus 1 is the derivative. Finally we have find out the derivative of f of x as 1 minus x square divided by x square plus 1 whole square. This conclude our answer. Now moving further with an another example. So what we are doing over here? What is the example uh, over here? Let's see in the next step. Now another function we have f of x is equal to x plus 1 divided by x square plus 2x plus 1. So we will find out the derivative of uh, this rational function by use of the quotient formula or quotient rule. So we will put up the differential operator over here d over dx of f of x d over dx of the whole function that is x plus 1 divided by x square plus 2x plus 1. So we will uh, uh, now we know that the formula of uh, quotient rule is now the formula for quotient rule is 
derivative of u upon v method is equal to v sin the derivative of u with respect to x minus u sin the derivative of v with respect to x divided by v square. Here in this question u is x plus 1 and v is x square plus 2x plus 2. So we will apply the formula we will take it v sin the derivative of u with respect to x and u sin the derivative of v with respect to x whole divided by v square. How can we do this? We'll, let's see in the uh, in the next step. So the derivative of f of x will be in the same uh, that is v sin that is x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same the derivative of x plus 1. Now minus sign uh, of the formula that is and u sin that is x plus 1 will be the same the derivative of v that is x square plus 2x plus uh, 2 and whole divided by v whole square that is x square plus 2x plus 2 whole square. So we are going to find out the derivative in the next step the derivative of f of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same and the derivative of x will be this 1 and derivative of 1 is equal to 0 because the constant term having uh, uh, the derivative with respect to x is equal to 0. Another uh, minus sign and that is x plus 1 will be the same the derivative of x square is 2x 2x over here and the derivative of 2x uh, so 2 will be the same the derivative of x is equal to 1 so 2 1 are 2 is equal to 2 and the derivative of 2 is equal to 0 because it is constant term so the to derivative of constant with respect to x is equal to 0. x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same uh, whole square will be the same that is v square. In the next step what will we do we will simplify it the derivative of uh, with respect to x of f of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same because it will be multiplied by 1 so it will be the same minus sign and then what we will do over here 2x will be common throughout so we are taking out the 2x plus 1 from this bracket uh, uh, common and x plus 1 will be the same so x plus 1 x plus 1 means x plus 1 whole square any a plus b whole square will be equal to a square plus 2ab plus b whole square and 2 is there also over x square plus 2x plus 2 whole square means v square so what will happen in the next step let's see so the derivative of f of x will be over here x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same minus sign is there 2 x plus 1 whole square means x square plus 2x plus 1 over here it is by mistake we have written over here 2 now in the next step over here derivative of f of, of, f of x with respect to x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same minus sign is there and 2 and that uh, x plus 1 will be multiplied by x plus 1 the bases are same then power will, will add 1 plus 1 becomes 2 x plus 1 whole square so it will be open up with the help of formula that is x plus 1 whole square will be open up with the formula that is a square plus 2ab plus b whole square means x square plus 2x plus 1 and it will be open up in the in the, uh, that sense so what will happen in the next step x square plus 2x plus 2 will be the same minus plus minus 2x square minus plus minus 2 2 a 4 x over here minus plus minus 2 1 a 2 over here so it this minus 2 will cancel out by this positive 2 and x square will be uh, subtracted from minus 2x square becomes minus x square over here and 2x will be subtracted from minus 4x so it will be minus 2x over here in the next step let's see what happened in the next step we have uh, after uh, subtraction of x square with minus 2x square becomes minus x square and 2x will be subtracted from minus 4x that is minus 2x will be remain so x square plus 2x plus 2 will be divided by that number because it's v square again we have 
the derivative in simplification form we will take we can take minus sign common and x is common so what will happen minus sign is common over here x is common so x plus 2 will be remain in in the inside the bracket and x square plus 2x plus 2 whole square will be the uh, will be the uh, bracket in the denominator which is v square so that is the derivative of f of x and this conclude our answer so this conclude our video lecture also and uh, we will meet in the next lecture till then allah hafiz